Welcome, fellow armchair generals. This is Gamer1745 here with a first look at Gaijin's new game, Enlisted, a first person shooter, we'll call that for short. But if you're new here, please um, subscribe to the channel for many more historical military gaming video game videos. And of course, you can hit that, everyone can hit that like button. I really would appreciate that. Tells YouTube. Hey, this is good content. I like it. Show me more similar content. Uh, helps that also helps the channel grow. Would appreciate that. But let's get back to enlisted now. This is a basically a first look at the alpha beta t or the alpha test. The alpha test that they've just opened up to the public. And hey, I'll put a link in the below if you want to get in on it. They say it's open for now for anybody who can get into it who you don't want to sign up for it basically but at some point they're going to maybe close it and that point probably is when they run out of server capacity or something for the game so you might want to jump in it's always good to get in early on these things because it could be good perks later on if it's a game that you continue to play and currently and i think it's planned and staying a free-to-play game i'm sure they'll find ways to try to make money off of it of course it's gaijin um and so, yeah, like I said, this is a first-person shooter, but there are tanks involved currently right now, just the Panzer III that I've seen, <clears throat> and the um, T-26 on the Soviet side. So far, it's just, we're calling it allies, but Soviets versus Axis. There is a bit of, like I said, this is a, basically a first-person shooter, but you do command a squad. It is not... Um, purely a first-person shooter. You can basically ignore your squad, which mostly is what I've been doing. And the bots will follow you around, and when you die, you can inhabit one of the bots. But we can sort of see here, um, although his rifle's covering it up, maybe we can see it now they changed it right there, um, is that the map, map pouch is going through the rifle. That's, yeah, because this is an alpha. And the game, especially the bots, look at it. Before we jump into the, the game, <clears throat> Excuse me. We'll show off some of the squad, or um, this is actually sort of character management. He is liable for a perk, I guess, because he has two stars. So we can um, look at his weaponry here, possibly um, deal with other stuff. I'm not yet sure. So right now he has a little higher running speed. We can choose a new perk here. Okay, um, four additional inventory spaces takes two away two slots um, we can look back at that for fighting or we could do faster decrease for the um, shot spread after quick returns of rapid firing or faster movement we'll do the faster this and what I could sort of um, this is fully filled up here the um, soldier fighting perks uh, I don't know if we can remove these at some point to swap out other things again and who knows how it's going to develop over time we'll come back over well um click out of this so we're going to see if we can get into a game you can of course there is play the soviets as well i've just done a little bit of that and as you look at the, the picture here um it started out looking much more like this with four guys in a squad but as you earn points you unlock more people you can do join any team that you might end up as a either side. Right now there's only the European server, so we will start this. See how long it takes to get into a game playing as the Germans. It's been pretty quick for me, the, the little bit that I've been playing. Um, and I think it's because it's new and everyone just trying it out, which is cool. Radio guys, I gather they can call in artillery and things. I'm again still. This is very early. Look, we're going to start here. I want to use the MP35 and go. You can see down the mini map. Uh, in my opinion, correct incorrectly. Place on the bottom left. I'm used to playing War Thunder, another Gaijin game. 
probably already know all that, but, you know, but that is a gaijin game. And they should keep a consistency, you know, lower right, and then put the information like auto and MP35 in the lower left. Um, well, let's head over this way. Um, uh, our team is already capturing this, but... Okay, they've got that. Okay. Well, I guess B is our next position here. Yep, we got enemy on it. There's artillery landing around there. Wow, that's a lot of artillery. Machine gun, it was used by the SS. Problem, problem, where's my problem key? Reload. Some level of cover here. And we're down, so. Oh, no, we weren't fully down, actually. Well, well no, let's come back as a tank crew. Go. Okay. Again, got to look to the wrong side where my mic is covering things. I don't yet know if I can kill my own people by running over them. I don't try to do that. Okay. Can't bust through the trees like you can on War Thunder yet. Not that maybe you can do it. Oh, come on. Okay. You can see... Trying to get my turret around. I'm trying not to run you guys over, but I need to see where you're going. Uh, hello. I'm on the target. Uh, target boom. I guess, but I'm still doing damage to him. What constitutes a kill in this game? Oh, that's a new view. That's changed something. Okay. No. Okay, I just want to go over. Oh, it's R for ammo change. No. Okay. Something. But, uh... Okay, let's. Okay, that 
It's looking out one side. Oh, okay, this is looking out the top and they're being exposed. I knew you could do this. I didn't know the... Oh, well, let's get back inside. I think via another tank. Let's go back in as a submachine gun. Tank damage, or track damage, yeah. Don't know why he's carrying the radio like that. Saying they didn't do it, I just don't know why he's doing it. Maybe they did do it. So let's run here and belly flop down. Yes, I hear all the shots whizzing overhead. That is how shots sound going by your head. Okay, let's crawl out of the artillery target zone here. We're being smart not standing up and running around. Maybe this rock will give me some cover. Well, what killed me? I don't know. Probably artillery or something. Okay, go. Looks like a lot of big booms. Yeah, why are we letting them do that? Okay, now I want to go to five. You seem to have to somewhat manually select the grenade instead of scroll, mouse scroll through it. Okay, well, let's see if we can, we'll probably get shot here and die, but we're patching ourselves up if we can. Okay, now we're, we're patched up. I like that about the game, it's not I, I think weapons should do, especially full-powered rifles, which this is, of course. Should do a little more damage, it seems like. Takes like three shots to take someone down. Unless, of course, you are Mr. Submachine Gunner. Okay, um... Go. Going with this squad, go. Now we're dressed in white, which may not be the best thing in this environment. Let's run up to some of these trees up here and then get behind one of the bigger ones and see if we can snipe somebody. said that before, but man, that is a lot of artillery. There is leaning out. I don't know that I have a good key bond for that yet. Those, this was recorded on, say, the first day of release. Okay, T, and okay, well, so we just go back to another one of the squad bots when we die as the main character. The enemy is rushing the control point. 
Yeah, yeah, I'm getting up to this tree and then see if I can see anything. Okay, you go to crouch. Down. Reload. Keep seeing the bolt that's up. Oh, hello. On this gun as being part of the sight. I like the way that it sort of zooms you back to the um, your new start point, so you sort of know in relation to where you just were, where you're coming in. So it helps with the battlefield situational awareness. Looks like we've got a tank on point. Oh, hello. See, my, my, my fellow squad members don't seem to... Let's see, see if I can heal myself. Don't seem to cover very well. I don't know quite... Yeah, see, he gets to come up and stab us all. Lovely. He's good at this. I'd want him on my team, but he wouldn't want me on his because I suck. Yeah, don't fire, gamer, when you have your friendly lines of fire, even if it's just a game. And even though we died right there. Okay. So, well. These are the rewards, I guess. Uh, got one double or some triple. Oh, we'll scroll back up. So, kills. Three triple kills, one grenade kill. So yeah, new campaign level. Oh, now we're going to get a um, Panzerbusch 38, potentially, squad. Oh, now see, now this is, see, I guess that's, well, he's pictured as an MG42. Most German, well, yeah, basically all German squads had a machine gun in it. Um, you got a new squad. Yeah, we'll add it to the list. Um, hmm. We'll put the sniper squad in reserve. I'd rather try that. Okay. Squad upgrades. This squad. We, we, let's see. We can add in personal upgrades. We have... Some of the, this would cost 1,500 points. We have 2,310 points. Smoke grenade. I don't know. Let's go back to the squad. We'll add another person. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, so let's go back to soldiers, and we can look at this squad here. Now we have more people in it. Uh, I'm seeing that it apparently though it's just the first well the, the main guy with his 
MP35. Two, those are, um, I think they're supposed to be um, Gewehr 41 Walthers. Don't know if they're getting any of that right, though. You have the ability to upgrade to the Mauser. The Mauser, oh, it's the one with the little, um, be able to, the original, I know many of you like this, those new here may get annoyed by this, I like to give historical talks. And I'm doing this one entirely off my head. The original requirement for this semi-auto rifle for Germany, yeah, you can go back to stuff, before World War I they were making workable semi-auto rifles. I say workable, they, they work, but they're not like proper military weapons that will continue to function reliably. So, um, World War II is coming around, and they know about semi-auto rifles, every major nation does. By the time the you're invading the Soviet Union, you have the STV-40. I think there's an STV-38 or something earlier. Oh boy. Gamer looks like a fool when he doesn't remember all the dates and things. But um, So they've got it. The Germans capture a lot of them uh, and use them. So it's known. But the French had a semi-auto rifle also in World War I. Used it some. Sure, the Germans got some. It's finicky. And with the abuse that, in, particularly in World War I, weapons, small arms, rifles, pistols got, they were pretty damn heavy. And so armies are really reluctant to outfit large numbers of men with weapons that won't work well. You know, um, they'll work at the rifle range, they'll work camping out in the woods a bit, shooting a bit. But once you really get them into the war, and especially that they were expecting, and armies often, not always, but often prepared to fight the last war. So they were expecting, you know, another trench war, another thing like World War One. Okay, so you get all this. And so their requirement for a semi-auto rifle is one, the original requirement, is one that can also be, also function man manually. Um... I think we can see that because yeah see that's the Mauser one obviously because it's the M and this is the W this is the Walter one um pretty sure it was the Mauser that still had the um it had a bolt you can't see it it's on the other side a small bolt action thing that you could still operate it as a single shot rifle that was um the requirement now you can use the the bolt up there the to to operate it it's just not that effective one shotting it that way so germany over requires things so they delay putting in a semi-auto rifle walther ignores the requirement basically the walther is um what's based on I'm trying to see if we can get a good picture of a mount of a um mm. oh well you can sort of see it here um i was looking for a muzzle that was pointing a bit more towards us uh, not at that guy's face. It, not really. It's going up in the air that way. Um, but that one might be at his face. Um, is You see, it's very bulbous around here. And that's a gas trap sort of system that fills up into there. And it's... Oh, how shall I put this? Um, not the best option for... Um, uh, Gas-operated systems. Uh, so by the time you get to the carabiner 43 or the Gewehr 43, it's called both, um, they've improved the system a lot and made a decent weapon by that point. But that's a bit later in the war. Okay, well, 
I'm going to keep this sort of short and we'll maybe we will be putting out more videos of this for sure I don't know how much but um, this is my first look at enlisted I really encourage all of you to um, follow the link below I don't get anything out of it but just follow the link below uh, sign up for the alpha if you can it costs nothing you can get in there you can try this out if you think it's crap you want to go to something else it's sort of hook is that you're sort of commanding a squad instead of being a single first person shooter um, you know I you know, I haven't played the newest Call of Duty played some of the older ones of course but um, I don't so I don't know if this is better or you like it better but hey it's free get in play it and if you don't like it uninstall it you know it's it's all that you know, all there is to it it's not like I'm trying to push you to buy money I don't you know, spend money on things so yeah um, just come in take a look at it uh, and of course again like I said at the front um, if you haven't already please subscribe like the videos and I'd love to hear your comments about the game about any aspect of it what you think so really would uh, appreciate comments below thanks so much see you next time for more historical gaming